Welcome back everyone. The rain has cleared out of central Iowa. We are in store for a dry Wednesday and we need the break. We've had plenty of rain these past several days uh, and that's uh, very different from what we've been saying this entire year, but uh, we could use the break from the rainfall. Currently 62 with some clouds over Des Moines right now, but it is going to be a mostly sunny day. Quick warm up expected. I think we are in the 80s by noon and we will climb at least to the upper 80s. Decent chance we get to 90 in Des Moines today. The farther west you go, the more likely it is that you see those low 90s this afternoon. A little bit cooler to the east with some mid to upper 80s in the forecast. There is not going to be any severe weather today. No rain at all during the daytime today, but late tonight there is a level one threat for some severe weather, mainly for the southwest part of the state. Damaging winds are going to be the main threat. So what's going to happen is we'll have some storms develop in South Dakota and Nebraska later today. Those move across Nebraska into Iowa late tonight, and then we'll see periodic thunderstorm chances during the day on Thursday. Level two risk for the majority of the state tomorrow. So really tomorrow is the time to watch for potential for strong wind gusts and damaging hail. Let's get to future cast and after we get through today late tonight, there could be those storms moving into southwest Iowa. It doesn't look terribly impressive there, but they may actually reinvigorate tomorrow morning as it moves across southern Iowa, as you can see there. So this is like 11 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. There could be potentially some severe weather in southern Iowa late tomorrow morning. There may be a break during the afternoon and then a lot of the models are suggesting redevelopment either late in the afternoon or in the evening on Thursday, and that threat will continue much of Thursday night and it looks like southern Iowa well, maybe more so than northern Iowa we will see those storms. There is a threat for large hail, damaging wind gusts, and there is a bit of a flash flood threat, which we haven't really had to worry about uh, much this entire year. But with the recent rain, the ground is a little bit more saturated than it's been in a while, so that is a possibility. More chances for storms on Friday, 60% chance at that point. We'll have opportunities for storms over the weekend. Next week, it looks like afternoon storms will be possible in each individual day, Sabrina. It uh, doesn't mean we'll get rain every day, but that possibility is there, and that should cool us down a little bit to highs in the low 80s.